All right, boys. Today, I'll be ranking every single thing that was added in the 1.20 updates, starting with armor trims. Now, one of the things I think are really cool about armor trims is because it allows a lot more diversity in the way that your armor looks. You can completely design it the way you want it to be, and there are many different templates which make many structures like a mine shaft or like ocean ruins much more viable to want to go and loot. I don't see armor trims having very much use besides just designing your armor and making it look nice, but of course I am going to put an A tier. I feel like it is a really cool item that they've added. Honestly, one of my favorites. Now moving on, we have bamboo blocks. Now there's a lot of new stuff you can do with bamboo blocks because obviously bamboo is now a wood type, which I think is a great change. This is definitely another A tier right there because bamboo now has a purpose. Now, of course, bamboo was important before because of scaffolding and you can make sticks for an example. You can do a lot of things like that, but now it has its own wood type, which means that if you're in a jungle, you can choose between jungle wood or bamboo. There's a lot more variability there now. And on top of that, you can also make rafts with bamboo wood, which is also really, really good because rafts are a new design to look for a boat. And I think that it's really, really cool. And it's relatively inexpensive to make. I mean, you can literally make bamboo farms. I mean, you can get infinite wood, which is pretty cool. Next up, we have the archaeology section. We have brushes. Now we're going to just look at the brush and we're not going to judge the entirety of archaeology because we have more things like pots coming up later. But the brush itself, honestly, is one of my favorite things in this update. It's going to go high A. It's definitely going to go high A because this will allow you to be able to make things like desert wells or even temples more useful. You will be able to go and find specific pottery shards or you can even find things like emeralds and diamonds, which I I gotta say, that is pretty good. All right, this next item is pretty cool. It is a brand new redstone item, which is called a calibrated skulk sensor. And basically what this will allow you to do is it acts as a pressure plate, but instead of you needing to step on the pressure plate, it picks up vibrations and sounds like the warden does. So whenever you make noise, depending upon the frequency of the noise and how loud the noise is, it will activate redstone. So it's basically a pressure plate in which you don't need to step on anything. It just picks up sound. Uh, it is actually a very cool new feature. And I'm going to put it up in S because, listen, I'm not a redstone guy, but I can see how useful this thing is going to be. I mean, just think about it. I mean, I don't know too much about redstone, but I'm just saying, I think that this has a lot that it is going to be able to do. And speaking of S tiers, the camels definitely got to go up in S tier. I mean, it is the first mob that two people can ride on. It is tall enough to where mobs cannot hit you on top of it. And it's got that little dash attack. I mean, like, really, you're going to you're gonna say that it's not S tier. That dash attack, it just gives it all. It gives it everything, dude. Honestly, it really livens up the desert. And I really feel like the desert needs a big update. And this is just something that I think is going to really liven it up. And I really, really like it. For our next thing, we have cherry blossom biomes, cherry groves. Now, this is going to be controversial. Hear me out before you say anything. This is going to go in B tier. Cherry blossom biome, amazing. I love the cherry blossom biome. And as a matter of fact, I think I'll move it up to A. I think I'll move it up to A. Low A, but I'm going to move it up to A. The only reason is because I have yet to see one that doesn't spawn on top of a hill or a mountain or something like that. That's really cool, and I probably, I, I'm, I'm assuming that it's probably, like, accurate to real life. But the issue is, in my mind at least, is that it's such an amazing biome, and I want to live in it no matter what. But I don't want to climb a mountain every single time I want to live in this biome. The trees are amazing. The wood type is amazing. But I don't like the biome itself. But the wood type, this is the best wood type in the entire game. The trees are amazing. The leaves with the particles, amazing. Everything about this wood type is the greatest thing ever. Most of Minecraft is dominated by darker wood types, but I think this is the first lighter wood type, which is just the best wood type. Like the logs look good, the strip logs look good, and the planks even look good. Like it is a good wood type. All right, so the next item we have is actually also from a cherry grove, and it is the pink petals that they added. It's going to be our first B tier. Now, Listen, they are a really cool item, and I think that there's a lot of practicality to them. But I don't like the way that they react. Like, you know, whenever you're trying to place something, it's not like grass. It won't replace it because it's like a flower, right? But there's so much of it in a cherry grove. So it's just a little bit.
little bit annoying. That's why it's in B tier. I really like the way it looks, but it's just a little bit obnoxious. You know what I mean? All right, the next item is chiseled bookshelves. Chiseled bookshelves, they're gonna go in a C tier. I mean, I'm not, I'm not feeling too good about them. It's just not my type of thing, you know? They don't work for enchanting. I think they're a good book chest, but I just prefer to use a chest if I'm being honest with you. Overall, I mean, like they don't really have too many slots. So I mean, if you're storing books, uh, that probably won't be good, but I can see as if you're going to build a library where it could be good. I just don't really see the practicality of it. And that's kind of why I'm going to be putting it in C tier. All right, next we have hanging signs. They're cool. They're cool. They're going to go in C tier as well. I'm just not extremely impressed. We've had signs before and these are expensive. They take chains and stripped lines like they are expensive god dang bro like but it is for a sign like i mean like i think i would just prefer honestly to use a normal sign much cheaper and i mean it doesn't really need to hang it probably look cool for some builds but overall i mean like it's gonna go in a solid c tier next we have ooh, this one is controversial this is netherite upgrade templates i'm gonna put it it's hard. I think I'm going to put it in B tier. And the reason I think I'm going to put it in B tier is because I like that there's a challenge to it. The issue is, I think that they should make them a little less rare. Of course, Netherite is an armor type that is very good. But now, in order to make Netherite tools, you need to loot a lot of Bastions. Let's say, hypothetically, these spawn one in every Bastion that you find. You will need nine Bastions in order to complete a full set of armor and a full set of tools. That is a lot, and that's a lot to ask if you're looking for nine different bastions. Point is, I think that they belong in the nether, but maybe not just in bastions. If, I'm, if that makes sense. I don't know how many spawn. I don't know really too much about them. They are really new and I want to see how they work first. That's why I put them in B tier. And I like that there's a challenge to it. It just feels like the challenge is pretty hard to get netherite armor, which we kind of already know. It's good, but it's not good enough to have to loot that many bastions. You know what I mean? All right, next we have piglin heads. I'm going to put them in C tier, just right where the rest of the, uh, the cosmetic things are. Really cool new change. I like the fact that you can get piglin heads. I like the fact that you can put them on note blocks now and you can make like piglin sounds or creeper sounds or whatever that is really hype i just don't really see too much practicality i'm not really going to use that overall it's just not really my thing you know what i'm saying all right so this next one is the sniffer the sniffer is the mod vote mob that we voted for and in my opinion after getting everything that we got from it it sounded like a really cool mob but these two flowers they just really are it to me i mean it's a cool mob i like the way that you find them you have to go into warm ocean ruins and you have to dig through some suspicious sand that you find there and you can find sniffer eggs from the suspicious sand i think that's really cool and it is a new mob that you're able to hatch but overall the brand new flowers that we get from it they're just you know they're not really that great we have the pitcher plant and we have the torch flower now both of them are just decorative they don't really change anything and you can't use them in any recipes i mean you can make different types of dyes with them but i mean there are flowers out there that don't require the sniffer that you can get the same dyes from i don't know there's just it's not my favorite i'll put the sniffer in b tier because it's kind of cool it's a cool looking mob and you can put these in f tier the next thing that we have are pots which you can also find by digging through suspicious sand with a brush it's one of the outcomes that you can get and you have different designs that you can put on a pot depending upon where you dig from there's certain designs that you can find only in desert wells some you can only find in warm ocean ruins some you can only find in a desert temple so it's pretty unique the combination you can come up with when you're making these things they're decorative again that's another thing that we have to look at they're probably going to go in b tier i mean of course i just like the fact that you can have a story with it because of the different types you can find and the rarity of the different types but it is going to be fun to see what designs you can make with it because I, i've seen some pretty cool things that people have been able to make with these all right and finally we have the relic music disc and let me tell you, this one goes pretty hard. It is an S tier right there. It is an S tier music disc. Honestly, I always love the music disc whenever they add them. This one goes hard. And I will tell you, it is a good music disc. I'm very, very happy with this music disc. And there we go. There is our list of everything new in the brand new 1.20 updates let me know if you agree or disagree i'd like to know what you think and yeah so that's gonna be about it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys in the next one